Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Last time we were fishing, and this time we're gonna keep fishing, because all that this game is now is fishing. We need to catch that cheap cheap there, and hopefully get it this time. Nibble. Bite. Careful, pull, pull, it's so close, just let me have it, please, thank you, oh my goodness. Call it cheap cheap, since when did they swim in these waters? Wow, a 22.48 inch fish, that's a lunker. Quite a catch, that one will earn you up to 30 rupees, wanna keep going? What? Is that... Is there more to do or is that it? I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm... Upset. Maybe that was the middle one and there's a bigger one. Maybe. I guess. That's quite sad. But anyway, I think now that that's done... Let's go do something else. It's time to return to the place where I enjoy myself. And I really hope that for the 35th Zelda anniversary, they make a full mode. But I don't know because I'm, I'm just, I'm still in January. And February is a month away, and then there's the 35th thing. Let's get some new dungeons, since it's been a few more since the last time we were here. And we also just picked up a few in the overworld, so... There we go, new chambers. And some new challenges as well. Let me quickly check something before I do that. I have four chambers from the overworld. We don't even have a third of them yet from the overworld, so that's a range. Okay, treasure vault. The vault needs treasure. Stuff those tiles that have treasure chests marked with the with chambers that have chests. I don't gotta tell you how to bridge the gap, right? Well, obviously, one of our new chambers is probably gonna have a chamber that is both. Um, a chest and a warp, because that's the only way to get in and out of that place. And this one's that already, so I guess that's fine. Let's go with that there. Is there any more? There's this one. That one's a bad one to put in, but I'm gonna just put it in anyway. There's this one. Now, I think... It's time to start arranging some things. Let's put this one there. This one there. And I think that one there. Now, let's go to twos. We've got quite a few new things here. Now, there's so many new chambers. Oh my goodness, I love how many chambers you get throughout the, the quest. Let's use one of these ones. Probably this one. And now I also need one of these ones. Let's go with the mini boss one. And there we go. Oh, those are linked. That's not what I want. Not, not at all. If I, now if I do this, it's going to do the same thing, isn't it? Yep, I'm going to need to figure out how to arrange this better to make it work. But for now, let's probably start off by making an entrance, and it's time for this to go in up here, probably, or something. Now, I'm going to need a few side edges bits here so I can make it all the way through these side areas. No problem. I might put this here so that links up. Very nice. Put in some more. And 
need to put in quite a few. It's pretty good. Um, let's put another single down over here. And then, nope, go back to doubles. Let's put this here. No, not there. How does that link up? Not the way I want it to. If I move this, will it link up better? Yes, it will. Okay. Um, let's put this one here. This is already looking fairly good. We can't use any fours because of the way that the blocks in our way are set up. So, I have to figure something else out. We have a lot of threes we can use, luckily. Now, do I want to... Oh, come on. Do I want one of these? Probably. Let me put this one... Maybe I could do that instead. Twos is probably a good place to work out what I'm going to pull from. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put that one there. And I think I might put a boss in as well. Maybe? That's probably a bad idea, but it's fine. I'll work it out. This is what the point of this whole thing is about. Let's use this one. Oh, it's just all coming together so nicely. I love it. It's, it's so good after you've got more dungeons completed. Now, what do I have here? I could probably use some of these ones since they're pretty good. Actually, I've run out of spaces to put them already. But that's because there's only like four places to put this one, and four places, or two places to put these ones. There's not many places to put them. Just because of the way that the, everything is put, set up, so. Let me actually take advantage of the spots that I have for these ones. Okay. I've got a lot to work with. And it's the wonderful. It's so much better compared to the previous areas. Do I want to use this one? It makes it kind of pointless, but that's the idea behind it, is if you don't remember what room does what, then it doesn't do it, so. Let me put this here. This means I actually need some pass-through rooms down at the bottom. That's fine. We have a few. Oh, what I do? That's not what I was trying to do. That there, and then we just need one of these. Let's go with this one. That like up all of that. Now to figure out what else is left to do. I'm gonna put this one in again, but I don't think that's gonna make much sense. Well, it's not gonna make much sense anyway. I guess it's just no, I don't. I don't know about that. Let me put that there. Actually, I have... I kind of have an idea. Except it's not really gonna work. Or is it? Let's do that. And then, if we go back to this one, we'll put this one up here. So you can go that way, but you need a key to go through. We can go up this way and fight the enemies. He's probably not going to do a whole lot. But at least I, it was an idea. So. I guess you have to fight them anyway when you get to this point. So. <laughs> I'm such a troll. For myself. I'm going to put this one in because I like it. Now. What have we got left in here? We have one more of these. So I could put that there. And there's just three singles down. Oh, but that's not going to work the way I would like. Well, at least we can put one in. And now... Oh, let me get to the place I'm going. Put that one in there. I'm not sure about this. 
where is the locked door here? Right where I want it, actually. Let's put that there. This is, the, this is basically the same thing as the other side, where you can go one way and not have to worry about the, the mini boss. Or you can go through the locked door, so. But there we go. I had no trouble making this dungeon. No trouble at all. And that was just building it after six dungeons, I think. So let's start placing bombs in. Because that's just how I roll once I have bombs. You can't place it in the starting room. And there's only six locked doors and, tw and there's 25 chests. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get started on this, I guess. God venturing. Let's see how this goes. I love the dungeon maker once you have all the things. Well, we know which way to start off going because one way leads to the boss which we need the key for and one way leads elsewhere. There's two sides to this dungeon. I specifically designed it to be like that. Oh my goodness. Don't need a fairy. So you have to go to both sides of the dungeon. Oh my goodness. Why did that blow up first? This room is so much more difficult when there's bombs. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm in a better position. I just need to fix it. There we go. It's in the normal position that it normally is in. I think I probably did it not the most efficient way possible, but it's fine because it's done now. That's all that counts. I might check this other way first. Also, after doing the face dungeon, you're going to have a lot more rooms which have switches in them. Which is good. Now, if a bomb could drop exactly where I need it, that would be good. I don't think it's going to happen. Let me reload the room to make it have a better chance. Okay, will that hit? No, it won't. Reload again. I'm asking luck to help me out in this room. Can I throw that up there? Oh my goodness, I can. There's one that was going to fall up there anyway, so... Okay. Let's open up this chest. Small key, of course. We're probably going to get five of them very early. Now, let's go up. I don't think I'm going to need these bombs. Okay, there's the passage to the middle. Or well, one of the passages to the middle. I managed to put three in. Somehow. Which is good, because it means there's more areas that are split apart. That means you have to explore more. Let's go up here. Oh, this one. With bombs. Oh my goodness, with bombs. I think it worked, somehow. Oh my goodness, why is everything crazy? Let's grab this. Small key, of course. And let's check the other room. We need the switch hit, so that's going to be fairly simple to do. With bombs falling everywhere. I say that, but it's not quite worked yet out. So let me just... Oh, it's about to do it anyway. Let me just get into position to do this puzzle. There we go. 
Let's head back then. Now that we have three keys. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Didn't even need the last platform apparently. Let's keep going up this way. Is there a is there a chest in this room? No. What does lighting these do then? Oh, it kills those things and turns them into fairies. I'm not gonna do that. I don't need I don't need them. Yet. Now I could spend my key. Or I could go around and do the the enemy room. But I wanna go through every room anyway. That's the thing. Also, yes, I remember this room. I, I was getting a bit confused because I thought this was where the enemy or the boss was, but nope. Also, I just moved out of the way of the chest. What is this game? Link, I wanted to be on top of the chest when it appeared. Okay. Let's fight this guy. Of course, there's bombs falling from the sky, so it should make it somewhat easy. I can get out my own bombs, I guess. It's just that easy. I don't think there's any chests in this room, so I can just move on. Unless I just die anyway. Now, need to go both ways. So let's go up this way to start off. Oh my goodness, this room. I have failed, and the bombs are ruining everything. There we go. Let's open up this chest. You know, there are a few overworld bosses that I would be happy to have in the Dungeon Maker, but I'm also quite happy they're not at the same time. Ow, ow, ow. No chest in this room, let's go up. Ah! Uh. Ow. Just open this up. Blue rupee. And let's go down. Oh my goodness, hello. Let's go in here. Giant green death. Okay. Oh, go fast. Okay, now we're back in the center again. Very nice. Also, purple rupee, very nice. That's what the game says, at least. Ow. I don't know what the switch needs to be, but it's okay. Don't think there's... No, there has to be something in this room. Oh my goodness. Okay, then. I'll kill the whisk ropes, then. Ow. Oh my goodness, the the bomb got him. That's useful. Bomb stop falling. Let's open up this chest. Okay, we get a red rupee. Joy! And now for this boss as well. Oh my goodness, and bombs are dropping from the sky. That's gonna make things a little bit easier for me. I accept they blow up very quickly, so it doesn't matter anyway. That one worked. They can also do a U-turn, which is uh, a thing.
Eat my bomb. How did that miss? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well there's that one. Let's get rid of you. Oh, he's not done yet. Two. Three. Four. There we go. We even get a chest. Purple rupee, very nice. And now we should be up to the last room here. Which is a switch, so that's fun. But anyway, I think that's it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.